What is up, music lovers, bass music lovers in general? My name is Cubic, and I am back with another music review. Today, we are reviewing Eliza, aka Lux, in previous years, but Lux has just gone through a brand new rebrand alongside a brand new EP. I'm assuming moving into a new territory with this music. So, we're about to check that out. Stay tuned for the review. <laughs> All right, before we get started, I just want to say that if at any time throughout this review you find yourself enjoying this content, make sure to let me know by dropping a like on this video. It helps me out, it helps more people see the video, more people join in the music, love, and fun. And uh, yeah, also, if you enjoy the content and you want more content, definitely subscribe. There's a lot of you watching these videos consistently but not subscribing yet, which I mean, if you enjoy the videos, why not? But getting back to the music, we got Eliza today with the Vision EP. And oh my God, I'm so excited. I've always been a big fan of Lux ever since a couple years ago when he was just some nobody on SoundCloud. I always saw so much potential in his music and I've loved seeing him evolve from starting out with like this kind of heavy death metal-y death step vibes to he's had these cool melodic undertones and gotten on never say die and really evolved as an artist and matured as an artist and you know low-key all this future rhythm and melodic rhythm stuff has become been becoming a thing but low key for the past couple years Lux has kind of been doing his own melodic rhythm thing and I've always really enjoyed it so I'm hoping that there's a lot of melodic sort of songs in this EP and I'm super excited and looking forward to see what he has to show us all now as Eliza and what this new sound is going to be how much Lux is still going to kind of be hidden in there and I don't know, I'm just happy for Lux, and I hope he delivers with all this new music. So we're gonna just go ahead and get into it with Vision by Eliza. The EP is called The Vision EP, and this is the title track, Vision. Let's get into it. I wonder if there's gonna be any guitar and metal influences in this music since, ooh, was not expecting that. Oh, I'm already loving this. I love that fucking sad boy shit. It's a really catchy groove. And... And that hook is... I feel like if I heard this one more time, it would just... Vocals be stuck in my head completely. I feel like I should get up. I'm hearing some like psy trancey vibes for some reason. Oh, it's playing. Okay, yeah, there's definitely some Lux in there. It's cool, the, it's almost playing a similar melody to the vocals, so it feels really familiar to the intro. It's simple, but really well arranged and composed. I really like it. Cause it feels like a song as well as like there's a drop but there's like a chorus i think the vocals could use a little work i don't know if i want to know if that's eliza singing that's like super cool but uh whoever's singing does there there's a, a few iffy parts but it's easy to overlook them Really building up the tension a second time. I really like the snare. It's like very 
it's not too obnoxious. It, it, it fits in perfectly and it's like a nice contrast. That's a fun intro track to this EP. I like this outro too. That was fun. Oh my gosh. It wasn't very heavy. It was like this perfect just middle ground. Like it was just a vibe. Fun like you slightly headbang too. You're not going super hard. But there's so much dynamic in the drop. And pauses and big swells and stuff. Ah, it was just perfectly arranged. Perfectly composed. Well done Eliza. That was awesome. I'm excited to see what else we've got in store. Okay we're going to go with Runaway by... Eliza. This is a fun little filtering. I love how much vocals Eliza's incorporating in all this music so far. I always think dubstep needs more vocals and more substance besides just the drop. Oh, uh, I'm loving all these sounds. This lead has a really cool characteristic about it. I can't put my finger on it, but the space Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's some, it's like, oh, this is like Lux's old stuff, but it's so refined. Oh, this was perfect, man. I love this new evolution of Lux. There's so much emotion in just that lead. He's really doing a lot with the dynamics in these songs. Like giving breaths to the frequency spectrum and just like, there's a lot of just really good dynamics in both of these songs so far. Like really using tension and and like adding and taking away energy and really, I mean, I don't know if it's intentional or just like having produ produced for so long, you know, you naturally just understand that stuff more. And all these sounds so far have like such perfect timber timbres and like the distortion and layering. It just feels so pleasant. I do wish he had done a little more with the second drop to like progress. I wasn't as into the second drop. Like I don't think I would play the song out, but Ah, oh, that was fun. Ah, oh, this is such a cool, it's like a more mellow version of Lux. I don't want to keep referring to him as Lux because he's trying to move on to Eliza. So I'll stop after this point. But um, yeah, it's just like a bit more poppy and kind of easier listening and, you know, just really fun kind of feel good songs, even if some of them have sadder tones to them. But yeah, this is cool. I'm really digging all of this so far. And it kind of... It all feels more like when I met, like just think of the name Eliza and the branding I've seen of it so far. Obviously this is super subjective, but at least for me, this all kind of fits the theme I have of Eliza rather than Lux. So that's just a good thing for him, probably. Oh, 
this is precious. The noise all around. I don't know if that's from a pad or that's textures being layered, but oh, this feels like angelic almost, which Eliza feels kind of angelic. Wait, actually, I think the album art's an angel. I swear that if it is that, like, I didn't even remember that when I just thought that. Oh, okay. What the fuck? I did not expect house music. I should have looked at the BPM, but... Dude, I am I am here for this. Oh, I'm loving this. This whole EP so far, it's just like different side deluxe that I'm so happy to see and to hear. I feel like I should turn off the lights. I like the switch up with the drums. It's got a, some like trappy influences. Actually, I, I'm starting to wonder, the, the hat rolls are a little weird, but it's so cool. I just think it feels like a little too much going on. This is such a vibe though. It's just like angelic and sad. I feel like this part right here would be like in some sort of cool sci-fi movie or something. I don't know, actually. But it just puts a cool world in my head. Oh! Got a nice new lead here. This is like 2 a.m. music. I really like this neuro bass he has in this. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't have much to critique about the drop though. It's just a vibe. I feel like this would be good menu music for a game. Like you could just, it's like not a lot of progression and new elements and not, it's not too much complexity. It's just kind of this loop that you could listen to forever. But yeah, like I said, really, this is a really cool new side to Lux or Elizra. So I'm digging all of this. I love just, I feel like he's creating more of a world now for his music and his art. And he's venturing, you know, into all sorts of different influences and genres. And I always appreciate that about artists. And I love when the industry moves in that direction. So. We're gonna get going to the final track of this beautiful EP called Hung Up by Eliza. And I think we're back to some dubstep. I do kind of see, want to see, I do kind of want to hear one kind of heavier song just for good old time's sake, but we'll see. So far, this is just kind of that same feeling as that last song. Like dark and ethereal. I don't know how I feel about the tonality of this mixed with what we just heard in the intro. It feels a little off. 
This part's cool. Oh, I, I might get my wish answered. This is really fun. It's like some sort of like, like that Sultan trap, but it's like its own thing. You know, it's so simple, but it just, it's so fun. And it's so unique. And you know, there's, there's that hint of Lux in here. Like the drums and that initial hint. And the lasers. Oh, this is great. All, all four of these songs have just been this kind of pleasant balance between complex and unique, but also familiar and like easy to understand and get into. Kind of like Eptic tends to hit that balance. So does Skrillex, obviously. Like a lot of these artists that appeal to a more mainstream crowd where, you know, even if you're not into EDM, you can kind of vibe to their music and it's like simple enough where you can just really get into it. Lux is, or Eliza is kind of going down that same path. It's like not too heavy, but still really energetic and catchy. Ooh, nice new layer. Oh, I'm getting more into it the more it goes on. Oh, that was a great ending. That was a drop where I could hear it over and over and not get tired of that. Oh, that was super fun. Props to you, Eliza. Really giving a great first impression. Hitting hard with the new rebrand. I'm absolutely loving it. That was just a fun, joyful EP to listen to. I definitely can't wait to see what else Eliza has in store for us in the coming months and the coming releases, but uh, yeah, I don't have much to say. There's not, all of that music was really well made. And even the basic ones, like I maybe have critiques about the idea behind it, but there's like, that's all subjective. And I still had a lot of fun and enjoyed all of these songs and they all kind of put me in a vibe and in a world. And so, yeah, this was overall just a great experience, just a solid release. And um, yeah, with that being said, definitely like the video if you liked it, subscribe for more check out my discord down in the description to be a part of my music lover community i got going on on discord we have a lot of fun make new friends it's dope but my name is cubic and i will see you guys in the next review <laughs>